What's going on you guys? My name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about how much bleach you need for your cleaning jobs. All right, guys, before we get started, make sure you come right over here, click subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment at the end of the video or right now, whenever. It helps the channel out so much, guys. Let's talk about it. Guys, one of the number one questions that I get is, hey, man, I'm doing a 1,200 square foot house. How much bleach am I going to need? Well, let's talk about it because in all honesty, there's a whole lot of factors that come into play when it comes to how much bleach or SH you need for your cleaning job. There's things like, how strong is your SH? Is it a 5%? Is it 10%? Is it 12.5%? Is it 6%? I mean, there's different strengths of SH out there in the world, guys. And like 12.5 will go a lot further than 5%. There's things like the wind blowing that can factor into how much bleach you're going to use. There's things like which spray pattern you're using. If you're using a stream, it's gonna use more than a fan. Makes sense, right? Let's talk about roof washing, how much you're going to need. My house is about, I think, 1,500 square feet, maybe. Um, not 100% sure. Anyway, this would be a fairly easy roof to do. This is your ideal easy job right here, okay? So the reason this job would be easy and it wouldn't take as much is because I can fan this entire roof. Even from the top of a ladder right here, I can fan spray this entire roof. Now, if this roof had a steeper pitch and it was way up here, then I would have to stream, not all the time, but sometimes I would have to stream the very tip top and let it run down or whatever you need to do. So you're gonna use more bleach there or SH, whatever you wanna call it. We're all talking about the same thing. How dirty the roof is also determines how much you're going to have to use guys because let's just say my roof had just light streaks on it, just a little bit, okay? You can hit that with about a four or 5% and it's gonna knock it right off, okay? But if this has been on there for like 20 years, Something that looks like this right here. Then you're probably going to have to bump that up to around 7%. And you may have to hit it more than one time. So, of course, you're going to use a lot of bleach, a lot of SH, okay? I'll go ahead and let you know on that house I just showed you, we used 60 gallons on that job. 60 gallons of just SH. That ain't counting like the water and soap, okay? That's just bleach. So, yeah. As far as your house washing, okay? Vinyl siding is the absolute easiest siding to clean. It doesn't take a whole lot, okay? Some people do like a 0.75. I like to stay around 1.5 because I don't like to stay there. I like to hit it and watch it die within maybe three minutes and it's gone, okay? And that way I don't have to come back and do a whole lot of touching up. When I, when I spray it, I know that it's right. That's just my personal opinion. Some of you guys would argue with that. That is just what we have found to work the best. Even on your siding, guys, it also depends on how dirty it is. If it's like just, you know, spider webs and a little bit of maybe algae buildup on it, you know, you can use those weaker uh, mixes. If it's stronger, it's been on there for years and the whole wall looks like this right here, you're going to have to hit it a little hotter, guys. That's just all there is to it. So you're going to use more bleach. If you're doing metal siding, guys, you can use a lot of bleach because the, the mix that you would use on vinyl sometimes isn't strong enough for the metal siding. That's just something we have found. Uh, metal can be a pain in the butt. I want you guys to keep in mind also that you've got to have a good surfactant when you're doing house washing or roof washing, okay? Your surfactant is what makes the bleach solution cling to the surface and that's what it makes it stay in place so that it can do its job so make sure you guys get a really good soap i highly recommend southeast soft wash southern draw southern slang and i also recommend powerwash.com's uh apple blast and apple blossom those are my uh my favorite ones that i've used so far and you guys also have to remember that the more you do this job the better you're going to be, the more efficient you're going to be, okay? And I know a lot of you guys that are asking me this question are just starting out. So don't get discouraged if you bid a job and you run out of bleach and you got to go get more. It happens. Don't get discouraged if you underbid a job and you lose money, okay? Sometimes the education costs money. So let's look at my tank, guys. The other day, I went and I put 50 gallons total 
total 50 gallons in my bleach tank. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I am at 28, right at 27, 28 gallons in this tank. All right. This is 12 and a half percent. We have done. Oh, Lord. We have done three, four, five. We've done five houses already with just that. Okay. And I, I've still got enough to finish what I need to do the rest of the week. So with this batch of bleach, we haven't done any roofs. It's all been house washing. So you can stretch it pretty far when you use the stronger stuff and you have easier jobs. Okay. So I hope this helps somebody. I hope you guys understand that there's a lot of variables that come into play when you're figuring out how much you're going to need. Okay. You can kind of get a ballpark. Um, that's why it's so much easier to have a blend system like this one from Southeast Soft Wash. Uh, it, it just takes all the guesswork out. You just fill your tank up. You go and you set your dials. If you need more, you go get more, okay? And you'll figure out uh, how much you're using and kind of get an idea of how much you're going to need. Uh, when you're batch mixing, it can get a little harder. But, uh, hey, we made it work for over a year. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. If you guys, you know, have a better way of calculating how much bleach you're going to use, I mean, <laughs> you're better than I am. Anyway, I hope this helps somebody, you guys. Appreciate the love. Don't forget to subscribe. God bless.